guys welcome to another vlog does this look like familiar because i did this look <laughs> in last week's vlog and i started it off with the same look so i did this look again because i had an idea for a picture and i wanted to do this look because i'm including flowers it, it's not my idea what am i talking about it was inspired by oh my gosh is that a bug ew just fly, I guess. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Bella Hadid did that FaceTime. There's a fly in here. It's gonna be so annoying. Bella Hadid did a FaceTime shoot where she had flowers that were like covering her bits and everything. And I really wanted to recreate that somehow and I just never like executed it. And then when we were grocery shopping, I always buy flowers for the house and I got some like purple and orange roses this time and some baby's breath which is my favorite and i thought to myself i'm gonna do a shoot with that so that's what i'm doing today it's like the middle of the week by the way i've started this vlog so late i took a couple days to like just do not much i wasn't feeling very well like i talked about in my last vlog oh these yawns <laughs> as soon as i start vlogging i yawn every okay you guys already know anyways i'm gonna take that picture today so i did my makeup and I did get a lot of requests to do a tutorial on this look, but with the current state of like things going on with Morphe, I'm going to hold off. I might try and find other eyeshadows to use uh, because this look is with the Jaclyn Hill, the last palette that she put out. And it's like the look that she did for her campaign. So if I can find some dupes, I'll do a tutorial or maybe I'll just do an Instagram TV where I don't show the brand so that you can see like how I do it. But it's just a little cut crease with purples and oranges. So, anyways, I'm gonna go fix my hair. I tried to curl it a little bit, but it like all fell out. So I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'll show you guys how my mom and I try and take this picture. The idea is I want to put like the flowers in my pants, like so that they stick out and like come up from here. This is a good demonstration, <laughs> and um, we'll see how it turns out. So what we're going to do, I did my hair now. No one's, neither do I have a bra on. Yeah, but you don't have saggy boobies. Yes, I do. Where do I want to put this Not camera? Mine. Okay, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take those flowers I bought, the orange and purple roses, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tuck them in my pants so that they come up kind of like a shirt. The ones that are out on the table? Yeah. You didn't want those in water? I did. Oh. Okay. But I don't want them to die. I want to use them as flowers too. Are you crunching? Are you crunching? So let's go. We're going to have to dry them off. Try to sit this up straight. So they're going to, they'll tuck in like here and then they'll come up like a right above a shirt. They'll make it look like I'm wearing a flower shirt. I thought we were ready to take pictures. It's part of the process. Change of plans, we're moving to the living room to have my florist arrange my boobies top. Basically have a bunch of them like up like that. Oh, that tickles. These purple roses are pretty. I've never seen them that color before. Have you? Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't know why, but purple. Karen used to curl these, of course. Purples, oh, that kind of hurt. It Purple's becoming one of my favorite colors, and I used to hate That's it. That's so weird. I know. I don't know what happened. My ouch. Sorry. Jeez, that my, I might that might be a bleeder. <laughs> we got a bleeder. I want them to almost be like, kind of almost fanned out up here and like skinny down here. Do you know what I mean? That's right in my belly button. What the to, hell? Well, look, am I supposed to know that? <laughs> yes. You gotta get the colors you're putting in. Okay, you can move same. it because I can't see it. But I'll put it in because you're known to stab. This lighting's really bad, but this is what my florist gave me. Oh, am I your florist? Yes. Okay. I wish they made shirts like this. This feels pretty. Cute. Okay, All right, we're going to take film pictures. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. 
My mom just said her boobs look like tube socks with quarters in them. So that's where we're at today. All right, let's move this. Probably should have done this before. Where? Just scoot it down. One, two, three. What should I do? One. No, here, yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Can you wink an eye? No. She got home a little bit ago from, are you coming? From, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm such a scatterbrain. Got home from dropping off the film. So I went to a new place that I've never gone to before and they just had a film drop off um, where you pretty much just slide it under the door and then they'll send me the scans tomorrow. So that's good. Uh, we came home and ate. Jace made some falafel, falafel wraps. And um, I'm gonna edit a video now, but then I have to like lay in bed early because we're taking my mom to LAX at like three or four in the morning. And it's gonna suck major balls. I really <laughs> don't want to. Um, do that because LAX is the worst and we live on the opposite side of Los Angeles so this should be fun maybe we'll get to see the sunrise though I don't know um so yeah I will check back in tomorrow <laughs> I just like recurled my hair and tried to go put makeup on for the day and I'm just I feel like absolute shit right now to be completely honest. It is 3 p.m. right now. <laughs> we took my mom to the airport so we had to get up super early and then we came back home and tried to go to sleep but the sun was just coming up as we got back and the dog started barking at the neighbors and it's just like a whole thing and then FedEx came to the door super early which never happens. I always come like later in the day and so I just had to get up and I tried to drink some coffee. Uh, that didn't make me feel great. <laughs> and then I've, I'm so tired. I probably slept for like three hours last night and I just, you guys already know, I'm in rough condition right now. But I did get back my photos and my film photos that I took yesterday and I'm about to post on Instagram. They turned out cute. We took some on film and we took some like regular and I am going to make a TikTok. Hopefully I can put that together today for that. So that's exciting. And I also just got in this package from House of CB. I ordered this a couple days ago. I've been ordering from them for a while, but I, I have some stuff from them that I've never got to wear because I ordered it for like events. And then this year events pretty much just don't exist. And I've also been ordering some things from them for Halloween over the past couple months. I love this brand. Like, the fit of the clothes is just... I don't know anywhere else that that has this kind of fit on. Like, for my body, my body type, I'm very small on the top and have a little bit of a thicker hip situation. And um, it's just really hard to find clothes that fit me really well, especially when it's like dresses and cute little tops and things like that. They're also being really, really active and supportive of the whole BLM movement and just all of that. They have stuff on their website about it. And um, I think they've been making donations too, but I might be wrong. Um, anyways, it's just nice to see a brand like, you know, speak up on these things. And just not ignore it also they do sustainable packaging you can choose like their nice box packaging or you can get the sustainable option which i chose the only thing that i don't love about them is that when you buy something that's marked down or on sale you can only return it for store credit online so you can't even use it at the store here in la but i'm gonna set this down so i can open this and yes i do have my little sidekick with me at all times. Hi, Ruth. Oh, they sent this little pouch. The receipts come in this. This isn't sponsored or anything, by the way. I just genuinely 
like this brand and have been ordering way too much stuff from them lately. I have so much stuff for Halloween from them. Alright, also, their sizing though. I usually wear an extra small from them, but I ordered two other dresses from them in an extra small and it would not even go up over my knee, so a little nervous. This is a bathing suit. That's um like a what is it called? Like a wetsuit, but it's cropped. Goes up here. They also keep this on here so like you can't wear anything and then like try and return it after. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but um it makes it a little difficult to try things on. That's the top. It's an extra small, so I'm very scared. Also, the bottoms are gonna be an extra small, which means danger for me my hips oh yeah there's no way there is absolutely no way i'm gonna have to try this on tomorrow when i'm feeling up to it but yeah i just don't the way my hips are set up i don't think that's going up we got this dress i was thinking of maybe doing like a britney justin timberlake halloween thing so i got this cute denim dress it's hard to see show all of it but it's so so cute on the model on the website i have to do a try on and actually for the rest of the day i'm just going to be editing a little bit and laying down because i'm so so tired and i'm just trying to listen to my body my body's telling me lay down go to bed <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do but the next clips that you see will be me trying on these things it'll just be tomorrow as promised next day trying on these clothes this is the swimsuit. <laughs> Again, it's a size extra small. And my golly, is it an extra small? I just pinched myself in here because the zipper comes like all the way down. Okay. <laughs> when you zip it all the way up, oh, it does feel like I'm being choked. <laughs> so I unzipped it, but oh, hold on now. I'm scared to unzip it. Oh, because I pinched my skin down here. Um, the bottoms I tried on with my underwear on because you never know. I mean, it does have the little sticky uh, thing in it, sticker, but I didn't know if these were going to fit. They do fit, however, <laughs> the amount of ass that is showing right now is just... <laughs> nobody needs it. Nobody needs... <laughs> nobody needs this. Um... It is really cute though. I probably would wear it to go to like the beach and take some photos in the ocean if I ever get the courage to actually go into the ocean. I always have this idea of like a really cool picture standing in the ocean, like not deep in the ocean because no, 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 but like just in the water and living like my best blue crush moment. And um, anyways, this would be perfect for it. It's really comfy actually. The only thing that is scary is that this, it unzips all the way and it, on the website it's like for cleavage, but if it gets down to like where my boobs are here, like if I moved the wrong way, this thing would just like bust open. <laughs> so, gotta keep that up. So, that is the suit. It'd probably look better without my underwear on, obviously, but um, yeah, that's what we're um working with. I'm actually surprised that it doesn't look bad I usually like this area is like my least favorite part of me and uh, it's really hard to find something that fits and uh, that I don't think makes me look absolutely like a uh, beluga whale <laughs> I'm having a hard time breathing in this one it is so tight right here which is okay but then like up here I don't know does it fit? Does it not? It's like loose up here like these just want to fall down. This is the back. Sorry my dogs are eating and chewing on toys. It's very loud. It was so cute on the model. I don't know if it suits me though. It's like a corset right here. Zipping this up was a struggle. Like it feels cute but it also feels like not. <laughs> Maybe if it was just a top it'd be cute. Like I don't know how I feel about the dress. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Should I return? This one was on sale though, so I will only get store credit, so I'll have to buy something else there. Anyways, I did get a package from Boohoo. I've never ordered. I don't think I've ordered from them before ever. 
and I just placed an order, so I'm gonna go ahead and unzip myself out of this corset type situation and see what I got there. I love how I just went from like cute blogger to like tourist dad vibe. <laughs> really quick, this is what I picked up from Boohoo. Never shopped there before. And um, I got tank tops, so I got two of these. The material is very cheap, I wanna say, or like very thin. I put, I got it in white and black, both in the same size. The white one is totally see-through, like you have to wear a bra with it. Uh, this one, I don't know how well you can even see. I feel like if I took a photo with flash, like it would be all nip, but it's cute. Uh, the black one, for some reason, was so hard to get on. It was very tight, a lot smaller than the white one, even though they're in the same size. I got this, like, dad hat because I don't have one, and I don't wear them often. Like, it's not really <laughs> my style, but for when I go out on, like, a walk, I don't like to get the sun in my face at all, and um, I just wanted a hat like this for that reason, so I got this one. It just says Los Angeles on it and then I got this crossbody bag and I actually found all these things through Delaney Childs on Instagram. I think this might have been part of her edit with Boohoo but uh, she's the reason that I ordered because she always looks so cute with these items. I mean I don't think I look that cute right now but this bag is really cute and I need something that's like small like this and still stylish and it has this little pouch up here where I can put like I don't know, a debit card or a lip gloss, chapstick, something, so that I can just reach into it. I'm not like digging through a purse, which always happens because right now, that is my purse over there. It's like a little Doc Martens backpack and it's quite annoying to dig through. My vibe just totally changed from what I was wearing before. Oh, I don't need to wear this in the house. By the way, on this it just says, keep away from fire, like, obviously. Feeling a little better today. I slept for like nine hours last night after not getting any sleep the night before and I don't know man I'm just so exhausted every single day. It's really hard for me to like get out of bed. I don't I have a doctor's appointment this week like I said so I'll be doing that. Look at how bad my blush looks. I did not realize how much I put on. Okay for today I'm working on something really exciting. Um, it's kind of like a little Instagram guide, kind of like a planning guide that I'm hoping to put out soon. Just a little something. And then working on some Halloween stuff that I can't share yet, but that's what I'm doing. Tonight, Jace is making chili for dinner, so I will show you guys how he makes that as soon as he comes inside. It's so good, the best chili I've ever had in my whole life. All right, Jace has everything organized. Are you gonna make baked potato or just yeah. like fried potato? I'm gonna make baked potato, is that what you want? That sounds good. Because he's gonna start the potatoes. We're having baked potatoes. Gotta wash those off. All right, Ashley wanted me to take control of the vlog, so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I made potatoes here. I, um, I, did this with a fork in them, and then I put olive oil and salt and pepper in them. <laughs> and I'm going to bake them for an hour. And then I'm going to add the rest of these veggies I chopped up into this pot of chili that's going very slow. Thanks for vlogging, Bean. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm putting <laughs> tomato paste in here because uh, you don't like... I don't like chunks. You don't like chunks of room room. <laughs> I will not eat anything that has chunks of tomatoes and I just cannot. <laughs> Vitamix is so loud because I think it could, I think that could like blend a brick into liquid. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Now we clean up after JC Poo because he doesn't, doesn't tend to clean up right when he's cooking and I just like to get it loaded in the dishwasher right away and wipe off the counter. This is his little mess here. Bean, do you have anything to say about this mess? I was gonna get to it. <laughs> I said, what a beautiful sight. The sun's setting on my chili. <laughs> yes. What do we got? 
Yum, yum, yum. Did you melt cheese on there? I just can't get over how I did my blush today. It looks like someone smacked me in the face. Is that a good No. That's good. Pretty, pretty good. My hair is so big today. It is the next day, it's 4th of July. Literally nobody cares. I just really can't be bothered to celebrate this whack-ass country right now. So we are gonna run some errands really, really quick since it's early and I don't wanna be out late because Nixie's really scared of fireworks. So we're gonna go to Crate and Barrel because I need to take some pictures and I need a few things. Right, Bean? That's right. Thank you. All right, we are back. I just ate so much chili leftovers and potato. <laughs> I can't even stand how much I just ate, but we went to Crate and Barrel. The key to shopping or like running any type of errand with the whole COVID pandemic situation is to go right when stores open. There's nobody in them and you can get in and get out without having to talk to literally anybody except the cashier. So that's what we did. And because it's 4th of July, they were doing a sale and their entire store was 15% off. Had no idea until we got there, so we got a couple extra things. I'm gonna show you what we picked up. I got these little utensils just because they're cute and pink. We actually needed a new spatula, and then this just matched it, so I got that. I picked up this placemat. I think technically you should have like multiple of these, but I was just gonna use it for when we have something over, like when we eat on the couch pretty much, and we have our little table set up. We can set this down. Or for an appetizer if we're outside and we're like, I don't know, eating something and want to set it down on this. We got this cute pitcher for our lemonade that we've been making. Wanted to get a couple of different like plates and bowls just for different pictures. I'm taking some flat lay pictures for something I'm working on. Um, and our bowls are just like plain white or pink. So I got this that's like speckled bowl and a plate that goes with it. Also picked up a couple of these just little plates. Got some cute little cups. I think technically these are for old fashions, but I thought they'd be cute for just drinking lemonade or whatever. Got these cute little tie-dyed looking plates. They're so cool. Got a big one and a small one. Unrelated, but I picked up this because I love the scent Oud Wood. Is that how you say that? It's a diffuser. I thought it would be cute. Never had one before. Next, we got these wine glasses. That'd be cute for when we do like date night and we're just making some sparkling lemonade or anything really to drink it out of this and just feel like bougie for a second. And then last, I found this right when we were like checking out. It was on display on one of the tables. It's a little runner. Right now we have this uh, yellowy one, which was cute for fall, but I feel like we need something with more color in it. So, I'm going to switch this out and I hope it's the right size. This table's small, so we'll see. But, um, it was on sale and then an extra 15% off. So, this was like $20 and they're usually like 60 or 70 bucks at Crate and Barrel. So, I feel like I lucked out on that. We also ended up stopping somewhere else because <laughs> I think I talked about this in the last vlog. Maybe it was this one. My mind cannot even, like, memories, what are they? Um... I think I have something called POTS and I'm getting some blood work done this week but I was read like I've been reading so much and researching because I have literally every single symptom so I've been trying to do things that will help me with it just in case I haven't and I can like get a head start on some of the things I can do myself and one of those things is adding like extra salt to your diet so yesterday everything that I ate I was adding like table salt into I was grossing Jace out. He hates salt, but I was just like pouring salt in and today I feel so good. I have not been tired. I have not been like wanting to go to bed like I have been the past like month and I'm actually like getting things done. But one of the things I read on, I forget where it was, maybe Reddit, was that one person who has mild pot sim symptoms, yes that's the word I'm looking for, they just drink one Gatorade a day and their symptoms are like gone. So I had to go out and find me some Gatorade. So the best Gatorade ever is this twist top Gatorade. There's no 
debate this is the best one like this Gatorade tastes better because of this twisty top and Jace was arguing with me not really arguing but he was like they don't make those anymore I'm like we have to find it so I'm like googling where do you find those and it said CVS had them so we stopped and got the goods they have them at CVS if you're looking and um that was pretty much my story time I'm not wearing makeup today that's why my face does not match anything that's happening we also picked up a few things at Target really quick. Nothing too exciting, except for these looked good. They kind of look like a healthier version of Captain Crunch. Jace got some pita crackers. We got this vegan mac for when we're feeling lazy and don't want to make a big meal. We actually got a bunch of those. Some blueberries. So I'm going to use these for a picture that I'm taking, but we can also eat them. Got a grapefruit, got some more lettuce for my sandwiches, got some dish soap, nothing too exciting. These really pretty cherries. There's too much stuff to even go through. I got a bunch of chips because I've been eating sandwiches lately and I just, you can't eat a sandwich without a side of chips. And also got this forbidden nectar that is ingredients to make Rice Krispie treats. I, I just, I have to have Rice Krispie Treats, like, they're so good. Anyways, that's about it for this vlog. I, um, don't have much else to talk about here, so I'm going to end it. Who is this? Ozzy loves to be held over the shoulder like this. Come here. So that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed a little week in our life. Hope you're having a good week, a good weekend. Was someone licking your face? His face is all wet. Say bye, Ozzy. No, he's like scared. He thinks he's getting a bath because we're right in front of the sink. You're not getting a bath. You're not stinky. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.